Hey, what's up everybody? This is Steven with another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Today is going to be the start of a series that hopefully should be quite fun to see. It is going to be from start to finish. I'm going to take this design that I made right here. It's for an up and coming website that my friend and I are doing. Uh, there's not a whole lot of information that I can give out about it, but anyhow, this, this, is, this is the design. And we are going to take this and convert it into a WordPress theme. And now what's different about this tutorial is that you are going to be there for the whole ride. All the mistakes that I make, you're going to see them. They might be a little bit boring, so I might fast forward through it. I'm not sure how it's all going to play out. But anyhow, uh, the good thing about this is when I encounter a mistake, you'll see how I go about figuring out how to fix it, all the tools I use, what I Google. Um, it's just going to be kind of fun. So hopefully this all works out and you guys have a blast. So today in this tutorial we're going to start off simple and we are going to just start slicing up this this template and making it into uh, you know, usable images that we can use for the website. And our first slices might not work out. We'll have to wait and see what happens once we finally start coding it up. So anyhow, right now you can see my layers. Um, the plans for this website is that each one of these pages, uh, this top right here is going to be a jQuery rotator. And when you click on one, it's going to become this larger image and the background color changes. This will be for uh, music and then art and so on. I'm not really sure how to implement this, but we'll, we'll find out. So let's get started. Right away, when I look at this, I know that I want this background image to be one whole image. Now having something that big is not really recommended, but uh, that's how I'm going to do it. So starting off, I'm going to take this right here. This is the layer, top background. I'm going to hold down Option and click the I, and it's going to get rid of all the other layers. It's going to hide it. I'm going to go to Image, Trim, and all the transparent pixels. Very good. Command Alt Shift S or File Save for Web and Devices. And wait for that to load. I'm sorry that it's cut off. Let's see if I can drag this into view. Um, I'm just going with PNG. With transparency, it doesn't really matter. Save it. Let's go to my desktop. And I'm just going to make a new folder. We'll call this Rank It Up. All right. Create, then inside of that folder I'm going to make another one called images, create, and this image is going to be called header underscore home, and save that. Give it a second to save, okay, and while we're at it, let's just go ahead and do the ones for music and art. So do the same thing, sorry that it's cut off once again but you don't really need to see it. So I'm going to go to header underscore art. Hide that. Oh, that was music. All right, anyhow. Um, let's just pop open this folder real quick. Images. And we've got to rename that to music. See, mistakes are happening. Isn't it fun? Music, very nice. All right, so now this one is art. We're going to save it as header underscore art. Whoa, typos. Oh, this is getting dirty. All right, uh, let it save. Very nice. So I'm going to hold down uh, Command Alt Z and just undo all the hiding or uh, the cutting out. And then let's just unhide this again and see how this all looks. Uh, to get the background. Now I know I want this music. Let's just start with this. Uh, let's go with the logo. Let's start with the top. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So I did the same thing with alt clicking on the logo. Image trim. Um, looks like it's being a little goofy because I think it's this uh, this glow that's behind it. So let's zoom in a little bit and. Let's even see if we need that glow. Maybe it's, uh, I think it looks pretty nice with it. So we're just gonna leave it. Let's leave that same height. We'll see what this looks like. So the same thing, save for web and devices. 
and I'm going to name this um, ru underscore logo. Might rename it later, we'll see. So undo that again, unhide everything. And let's go with this navigation bar. It's a little funky. I don't know if I'll keep it in the end, but uh, it was my first idea and I'm gonna stick with it. So again, option click and let's drop this down and remove this text layer because we don't need that right now. Uh, let's go to image trim. All right, zoom in or zoom out. And we're just gonna save this whole thing because it has a little bit of a wavy shape to it if you can kind of see it with the transparency. And we're going to name this navigation underscore BG, which stands for background, if you couldn't figure that out. Um, once again, unhide everything. It's a little tedious, but uh, it works out. So the next part I'm going to do is this metal spacer. And all that we need of this is just like a one by uh, whatever pixels. So I'm going to zoom in, metal spacer, and go command E just so it doesn't mess up my gradients at all. And then I'm gonna just drag out a selection like this. Let's zoom way in. See all its blemishes and all that. Very nice, one pixel width. <clears throat> Click that. Save for web and devices. And you really gotta use your one hand spider, I don't know, shortcut click for that or else file save for web and devices is gonna get pretty annoying. <clears throat> So let's, let's save this as header spacer, I guess, since we have header and all the backgrounds there. What about header spacer? Save that. Undo everything. Zoom out. And we are going to want these images right here. Uh, let's see, where is that located at? Uh, center content. All right. So drawing, drawing wall, we're going to hide this and this, go to image trim. Once again, a lot of the same things over and over. Now I don't know how this is going to work out, but we'll find out once I finally paste it into, uh, once we start coding it. So now we're going to call this, I guess, we'll go title underscore drawing. Uh, we might have to rename it, but uh, again, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, undo that. Let's go back to uh, music. Drop this down and hi uh, hide those. Image trim. Save this. And we're going to call it title music. Very fun. Undo it and unhide everything. All right. And things aren't looking very nice for some reason. Let's see. Okay, uh, these images right here are going to be the last thing that I cut out. Uh, I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep them all as single images or I don't know. I haven't figured that all out yet. And I'm going to do it by uh, hiding everything except for these icons. Go to image, trim. Okay. And now I'm just going to use this selection tool and select like this. We'll leave that one pixel on the bottom, or let's see. Yep, just gonna hold down shift so it's a perfect square. And I'm gonna keep that one pixel on the bottom. Click OK. And we're gonna save. <clears throat> and we're gonna name it icon underscore mail. OK. Hold on shift. Icon underscore RSS. And 
and then one more. And I'm running out of time, so I'm going to have to cut off a little bit of this. I'm not sure what, but I have to shrink it down to 10 minutes. So anyhow, that's the start of this tutorial. Next time we are hopefully going to start programming. So I'll see you then.